God's Word also tells us in Romans 8, 29, here's another purpose for us, for whom He, that's God, foreknew, He also predestined to become conformed to the image of His Son. God's goal is to conform us to the image of Christ. What does this mean? How are we going to be like Christ? Well, many people think that Jesus Christ was the most independent person who ever lived. After all, he had all power and all wisdom in himself and did not need to rely on anybody else. Well, yes, he was God the Son. But the fact is, according to the Bible, Jesus modeled for us how to live dependent upon his heavenly Father. For example, in John 6, 38, Jesus said, For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. He said, even my teaching is not my own. It comes from him who sent me, John 7, 16. So Jesus lived here on earth dependent on the Father for every part of his life, his work, and what he taught. Even the miracles that Jesus did and his sacrificial death on the cross for mankind's sin were part of what the Father's will for Jesus was. So when the scripture says that it's God's will for us, to become conformed to the image of His Son, it's teaching this, that God intends for every Christian to learn how to be as dependent on the Father as Jesus was. Like Jesus, we too are to allow the Father to guide and direct us, allow Him to be the source of all our needs. Our very security is to come from God the Father. We are to look to Him to give us our goals in life, to Him to give us the jobs that we do, for the people that we marry, how we raise our children. In all of these things, we're to be dependent on the Father and obey His will. Now, when we rebel, when we sin, when we push aside the Father's will for our life, He says that He's going to lovingly discipline us as His children. And He does it for our own good in order to put us back on the path where we need to be.